In this video we're going to once again use the definition of a log but we're going to change from the log form of writing a number back to the exponential form. And you'll notice in this question it says that the log of a thousand is equal to three. And that's what you'd get if you did, did it on your calculator. What this doesn't actually say up front is that we're talking about a, a common log, which means that a log of, of base 10. So now that we've put the base in, that will make life easier. So that that's basically telling us that uh, 1000 is equal to... Now remember, the log of a number is basically the exponent. So that 3 is the exponent. This number down here is the base, so it's 10 to the power of 3. The second question is similar. We have the log of 57.4 is equal to 1.7589. Once again, it's implied that we have a base of 10 because we're using a common log. So when we rewrite that, it's now 57.4 is equal to 10 to the 1.7589. Okay, another example. The log of 10 is equal to 3.3219. But this time, it's not a common log, it's a base of 2. With a base of 2... The situation has changed a little bit. The, the, um, the base has been specified. So let's go ahead with this question. So we can say that 10 is equal to, now remember the, the actual log value is an exponent. So it's um, an exponent of 3.3219 and the base is 2. Okay, this time we've got the natural log of 20 is equal to 2.9957. So natural log, remember, natural log implies base E. So we could think of this as being log base E of 20 is equal to 2.9957. So that means that 20 is equal to the base is E to the 2.9957. The next one, the log of 2 is equal to, or I should actually say the natural log of 2 is equal to uh, 0 0.6931. Remember, natural log means log base E, and then we can rewrite this in exponential form as 2 is equal to e to the 0 0.6931.